So what's the point of being a Jew? We thought we are the chosen people. We are, but nobody even asked chosen to do what? Everybody thinks chosen mean a result of something. People don't understand chosen to do the work. Let's say if somebody say, you've been chosen today to wash all the dishes. You don't feel chosen anymore, but that's how we think with our chutzpah of Jewish, we think God chooses us because we're special. No, God chooses you because you can become special. And God put in front of you something very interesting. He gave you a soul with the most amount of desire, most amount of desire, and he asked you not to act on that desire. Not fair, not fair. Because he's telling you, I want you to have the desire to eat all food, but when you get to a place where there is pigs or shrimps or lobster, you can't have it. You can't have cheeseburger, you can't have that. So why even give us desire like that? So the Jewish soul just getting more desire, and that's why there is more mitzvot for the Jew to overcome. What are the mitzvot, basically? The mitzvot is not the purpose, it's the tool. What is the tool of the mitzvah? The mitzvah itself is to help you and to help your soul to get better as a human being, as a person. And if you're Jewish, then it makes you better as a Jew because the Jew needs to overcome his complexity of desire or complicated desire of oneself a lot and has to be excited to do the right thing in the right time. Like Rosh Chodesh or Pray or Shabbat, which is there is mitzvot asem, mitzvot lot asem, two type of mitzvot, do and don't do. But the, the understanding of it, the depth of it, a goy have only seven mitzvot because a goy have a small desire. For that reason, we see today that Jewish people fall in love with non-Jewish people. Because for the Jewish people, it's really a break. And if a Jewish man has to fall in love with a Jewish woman, it's a struggle. It's a lot of work. Because that Jewish woman has a lot of desire. He has a lot of desire. They're going to fight. But if a Jewish man marry a non-Jewish woman, then what's going to happen? It's an easy life, but nothing is going on. Nothing is really happening because she doesn't have a tremendous desire. He's not been tested in any uh, condition. And then there is no friction, there is no light, there is no spark, there is nothing going on, all right?